Yeah, that's right. They're both 15 years old. This is the first fight. So, a lot of nerves, two young lads. I can imagine mum and dad are sat in the audience oh. somewhere, very worried. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, oh, good opening. Oh, good. wow. Strong punches there. Just seems to be pushing him away. Yeah, Covering. John Price is opening up strong. Not really working kicks at all yet. Oh, there we go. <laughs> just as I said it. Yeah, Dean was throwing a few leg kicks there. Jump. Oh, very close to the uh, the groin area, that one. Yeah, it was definitely very close. And he's just lamping that right hook in. Yeah, John Price seems really, really like a sense of urgency about his punches. He's just looking to make a mark and an impact, I think, in this first round. We'll see if yeah, he can... He definitely, uh, he definitely wants to make a statement. Keep that up. Always, always a, a problem with the uh, younger fighters uh, not knowing uh, <laughs> how long the gas tank's going to last. That's right. <laughs> that sort of stuff comes with experience. The, these young guys, especially first-timers, just tend to go all out in the first round. And in the seconds, you know, they regret it. Dean there with a couple of body shots of his own. Leg mm. followed up by Leg. Back a bit now, yeah. I think he's starting to uh, suss the fighter out a little bit more now. Yeah. Perhaps see some of his openings. First round really is just about feeling out your opponent, though, and uh, you know, as a corner man, I, I I always watch the opponent like a hawk in the first round, so I can sort of ascertain what the game plan's going to be. You never know until you've got through that first round. That's right, Darren. The first round, you've just got to study your, um, your fighter's opponent, assess the game plan, look for weaknesses, and the second round's time for some action. Still both looking very composed, though. Um, they've obviously got age on their side, though. That's right. <laughs> I don't think I could do a round that furiously and uh, not be breathing heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Still coming out firing. Yeah, both left both hook, right hook, really left hook, right, right hook. He's just plowing into him. Good body shots though. Yeah, by Dean, really solid but body Dean's shots. Dean's a little bit more technical. But can he uh, overcome the power with that technique? Well, he seems to be uh, landing a few himself now. Nice one-two by John there. Missed with the overhand right. Leg kick there by John. Dean seems to be landing a lot more this round. Not with perhaps the same ferocity, but he's uh, certainly getting them through. Yeah, solid left jab there. Oh, and one followed back by John. I think John has started to slow the pace a little bit now. Yeah, I think that he's first round at the beginning bit, of the not second. Not quite timing his shots as well as he did at first. Yeah. Dean there with a nice push kick to the body. And an uppercut following up with a leg kick as well. Yeah. Superman punch. Definitely mixing these shots up a lot more. That's it. Good second round to Dean Patterson there from Primal Gym. Yeah, I think Dean, uh, if, if he continues in this way, could could turn this last round around and uh, and come back to win. Chelsea, our local ring girl, telling us it's the third round. Second time. 
Right, we're going into the third and final round now. Let's see what um, let's see what's going to happen. Last round. Oh, Dino, big left up Head by Dean. Looks a bit loose there. I think we're going to see some bombs getting thrown now. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to adjust that head guard. I think it's come undone. I did see the corner messing with it at the uh, interval. Uh, I don't think the strap at the back's fastened correctly. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that's why it's loose at the back. Like straight onto it. That was a nice left up by Dean opening up that set, uh, third round, pardon me. Of course, both fighters are getting a, a nice bit of a breather now, which they're probably uh, very glad of. Yeah, they're both breathing heavy. I think they need it, to be honest. Just hope that wasn't a, a deliberate tactic. Not that I'm saying it was. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> now, the guy from um, Fight Unit, which is Barnsley Fight Unit, where uh, John Price is fighting out of. Really tough guys. I mean, um, we've got um, Adam Hadfield tonight. He's fighting for the ISKA Commonwealth kickboxing title from uh, Fight Unit. Yeah, he's big, a really big, big strong club. fighter. Yeah. I saw him win um, not his last fight, but the fight before by ground and pound in the first round. Really, really strong fighter. He seems to be having some trouble with his head guard. Always, always a problem with head guards. They're having to tape it on. It must have. Uh malfunctioned in some way yeah that's the trouble with it always you know, an issue with head guards, head guards. Yeah. i mean they're, they're just impractical for mma full yeah, stop definitely uh for kick tie boxing you're always gonna have these issues of back to the action now both lads down. opening up and another superman punch there to the body by dean turn his back john needs then. to answer these punches two uppercuts there by john followed nice leg kick by dean nice and answered by john Leg kick missed. That's a nice uppercut there by um, Dean. Hands are very low now on John. I think he's starting to get a little uh, fatigued. Big bombs, but he's leaving quite a few gaps and I think uh, Dean's just taking advantage of that. Yeah, he's, fi he's finding um, the chink through the chinks of armour and he's landing his punches and kicks. That's a nice uppercut by Dean. Moving forward though, you know, despite being rocked, he's certainly got the heart. That's it, reminds me of uh, Vanderlei Silva. He's taking punishment and moving forwards. Mm. Great last round there. 